So first we designed our filter, our bandpass filter, and now we'll move on to use this filter in this example where we use Pi Audio to get the audio from a microphone. So here I'm importing NumPy, I'm importing Pi Audio, and some functions we're going to use, and some uh, constants. I'm importing iPy widgets so we can use some buttons. I'm importing the threading and SciPy signal. So this is for the, the filter. The threading is uh, where you're running things on separate threads, so it's not, not blocking. Uh, we can have access to the GUI with the buttons. So here I'm defining a function um, to turn filter on and off. We're defining some buttons to stop. So when I run the cell, it will automatically start uh, capturing audio from the microphone. And when I press stop, it will stop and it will uh, do all the closing procedures for Pi Audio. We also have a checkbox to turn the filter on and off. So here is the function that when we press the stop button, all of the things will happen here. We will stop the stream, we will close the stream, we will terminate Pi Audio, we'll make the, uh, the button disabled and we'll print Pi Audio terminated. So here, when we click the checkbox to turn the filter on and off, we will just turn the filter uh, variable to true or to false. Here we are displaying the boxes. So here is we are defining our filter like exactly like what we did here. So we are doing this here now. And here, this is our uh, callback for the Pi Audio. So we are running Pi Audio now using the callback mode. So when there are enough samples, then Pi Audio will run this callback and we'll get audio data from the buffer and if the filter on is on, then we will filter the signal. And uh, if the stop button is pressed, then we will stop everything. If the filter is uh, off, then we'll just pass data as it is. Here we are defining our stream for Pi Audio. We are using 8 kilohertz, it's mono. So we want to get the audio from the input and we want to uh, listen to the audio, so we are also setting output true. We are using 1024 uh, frames per buffer, and here is the callback that we define here. The stream callback, we need to pass it here, and by audio recommends this keep alive so to, uh, to have a sleep so while the stream is active. And now I'm creating a different thread to run this keep alive, and then we're starting the stream. And then we are starting the thread. So we can take a look. A A dash song. So now the future is off. So uh, we see that this um, it sounds a bit like a cheap telephone. So we have a very small band uh, to to our audio when the filter is on. So usually a telephone bandwidth is about uh, 0 0.3 to 3.4 kilohertz. And this was this example using uh, Pi Audio and a filter using the Remes algorithm.